you get into your, your divine purpose, when you got the wind of God blowing behind you, and that's when doors begin to open. Welcome to a special edition of Peter's Principles, a show dedicated to empower your life with hope. We all need hope. How are you feeling today? Do you have peace or are you depressed? Are you going around that same mountain 400 times or do you have direction in your life? You know, it's pretty incredible, but it's been almost seven years to the day that I have a nationally syndicated TV show. And if you told me 25 years ago that I would have this show or have my health, I'd probably say to you, you're reading the wrong book. See, I have Crohn's disease and it's almost cost my life twice now. And I'm here to say that if you say you can or can't, you're probably right. I say this is a special edition because during this show, we will meet people that have had trials and tribulations in their lives and life and time waits for no one. And it's all about change. And when change comes into one's life, it's how you react to it that really determines your journey. So I want you to grab your family and hopefully get inspired the way I have by having these guests that have been with me and have shared their lives over the last seven years. It's amazing to think that only a few years ago, I was on the brink of death. I had a severe flare-up of my Crohn's disease. Doctors told me that I needed a life-saving surgery. So when you have to tell your four-year-old or your seven-year-old that um, daddy's pretty sick, it's, um, I can't even put it in words on how only God could give you the strength to do that. The main reason why I'm telling this story, the main reason, is not for someone to get to know Peter Neal. It's for someone to understand that this could happen to anyone. My doctor told me that my intestines were so blocked, I wouldn't have lived past two weeks if the problem wasn't discovered and I didn't have surgery. Hey, buddy. Everything went well. After the surgery, life seemed to be normal. Then one night, a couple of months later, I was having severe pain. I collapsed and my heart stopped for 43 seconds. I had another blockage and another close call with death. But it wasn't my time. It was a scary experience for me and my whole family. See, fear channeled wrong can turn into anger, and when faced with a devastating situation, some people may actually get upset and ask the Lord, why me? They blame God at times, but instead of turning away, I turned my faith to get me through this. I know God definitively gave me this experience to mold me into the man I am today. I used it as a, a vehicle to build self-love, self-esteem, and um, determination. And, and it's my mission to tell people, you can do it. I was out of control. On the surface, everyone thought that I was just happy or lucky and doing what I do every day and just going out and working and so on and so forth. But I was... Uh, hurting a lot, a lot of pain. Steve Cole is talking about the pain that changed his life. He was going through a divorce, stress at work and at home. He was depressed, but then a light came on. Slipping through the channels and, and it just, you know, I stopped there with Joel and uh, he had me. Steve was mesmerized by Pastor Joel Osteen as I listened to him and I said, oh, that's me, that's my situation, how'd you know? From that day on, Steve's life changed. Joel brought me back from the depths of depression and he's probably the reason I'm still here. Steve hopes his painful experience can help ease the hurt of just one person. If this is your low, you know, you're being challenged, uh, 
and you face being challenged to move on, pull up your bootstraps and get back in the game and get back at your life and get back at life with faith. And uh, it won't be overnight change, but it will change. You just have to start. Sometimes you need to turn to others for help or a little push in the right direction. Joel was the, the tool, Joel was the, the word, you know, he slid in the door in my heart, my brain, and my faith and, and brought me back. I am happier. We don't always understand it, but I always tell people this, you gotta believe that God's still in control, that he's got you in the palm of his hand, and that even in those difficult times, God's going to give you the strength to make it through. For 17 years, Pastor Joel Osteen has been sharing his message of hope to millions of people through his Lakewood Church television ministry. Many people have probably seen his face or heard his name. Many times, God puts people together for reasons. And I was honored and blessed to meet Joel. What is Joel's purpose? My purpose is to give people hope and to and just to empower them and hopefully inspire people to become all God's created them to be. For Joel, God is not about a religion with set rules. To me, it's about a relationship with Christ, meaning that you know, I get up in the morning and I talk to God like I would talk to you. And here you have almost 40,000 members. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel very humble, very rewarded. I, I still can't believe that I'm doing it. Joel travels the country giving hope, even during times of tragedy. His goal is to help people turn negatives into positives. That dialogue in people's minds, sometimes it's all negative, and it's negative toward themselves. It's, you know what? Uh, you know what? I, I can't do anything right. I'm so slow, and I'm so clumsy, and I can't make a relationship work. You're never going to be happy and reach your highest potential with that. I think the first thing you have to change is your own thought pattern. And sometimes, you know, I encourage people to just say it out loud, driving to work. Just say, you know what, I'm strong, I'm creative, I'm talented, people like me. You've got to get that into your own, I call it getting into your own spirit, and then it'll begin to, to manifest, because, you know, what we believe about ourselves, what we think about ourselves. Well, I guess my message is to be grateful for what you have. And so I just encourage them if they could, if you can get into a, a grateful attitude, uh, life's going to go a whole lot better. To find out where you can see Joel Olstein's television ministry, just go to joelolstein.com. Joel is an inspirational man with a powerful message of hope. I feel blessed to have met him. You know, there are so many people right now that need hope. They feel as though that their lives are out of control. When we come back, I want to introduce you to a man that was on the brink of death. He actually picked up the phone and called me and asked me for help. His story of determination is coming up next. We live in such a broken world, and in my opinion, the common denominator of people failing is that we lose belief, we lose hope in ourselves, whether it's with an illness, a relationship, a marriage. If we lose hope, we're done. See, in my world, hope means having optimum positive emotions about something that seems nearly impossible. We could live weeks without food. We could live days without water. Actually, we could live minutes without oxygen. But if we don't have hope, within seconds, we're done. We're finished. See, hope will always see the invisible Feel the intangible, and if you allow it to, hope will always accomplish the impossible. What I want for each and every one of you is to truly live a purpose-filled life. And to do that, I want you to partner with me with Principles of Hope so that we can all finish the race strong together. Thanks for supporting Principles of Hope. We encourage the hopeless and help everyone find physical and spiritual health. Peter's ministry is helping people feel God's hope and peace and light, and a gift from you will help. 
For a gift of any amount, you'll receive a Principles of Hope CD with three powerful messages from Peter, each one inspirational, scripturally based, and dealing with practical ideas for keeping and finding real hope so you can finish the race strong. Scriptures tell us that our body is our temple, so support your body's health. For a gift of $40, you will receive Daily Body Restore, a unique combination of nine probiotics and 10 digestive enzymes. Receive 30 capsules of Daily Body Restore to help support your digestive health. And you'll also receive the inspirational three message CD. With a gift of $120 or more, you will receive a host of hope-building tools. First, Peter's latest book of private devotionals, From His Heart to Yours. You'll also receive a devotional CD with 12 of Peter's most popular inspirational talks. Great for listening to in the car or when you work out. Third, Peter is a renowned fitness expert. Let him be your personal trainer with this inspiring home exercise workout DVD. And finally, you will receive the very first episode of the Principles of Hope TV series. This half-hour show tells Peter's own story of how he found hope. His journey of overcoming his own difficulty will inspire you. All these for your gift of $120. If you are in the middle of a storm in your life, these hope-building resources can help. And your gift supports Peter's ongoing ministry of bringing hope to people in need of spiritual and physical renewal. Please call now and support Principles of Hope. And may God bless you. And my prayer for you is that you never lose hope in your own life. Thank you for partnering with Principles of Hope. Welcome back to a special edition of Peter's Principles. Have you ever felt that you were so out of control that you truly wanted to give up? Well, I met a man a couple of years ago who was so overweight, he couldn't take one single step without his heart beating out of control. He finally said, enough is enough, and asked for help. That one single act changed his life forever. This is Joe Lumpkins able to walk and move around, but it wasn't the case when I first met him almost two years ago. Joe weighed 675 pounds and suffered with heart problems that could kill him. He finally took action and emailed me. I've emailed a whole lot of people and Peter was the first one who emailed me right back. I begged Joe to change his life. What I need to say to you is that if you don't do something, if you don't make a commitment, no matter what help I want to give you, no matter what help the doctors want to give you, no matter what help the nutritionists want to give you, your lovely wife, you're going to die. Do you exactly. know that? Yes. I put him on a program which included nutrition and exercise. I brought him equipment he could use at home. Joe took things seriously and started walking on a regular basis. Before I met Peter, I probably could walk maybe three, four steps, and I had to hurry up and sit down. Now, you know, I'm walking a house or two, you know, and it's better, my, my airflow is better, um, the, the distance that I walk is better, it's just wonderful. Joe is such an inspiration. He inspires me. You know, it just goes to show with will and proper determination, anything in life is possible. You know, in the next few months, I'm going to go back and visit Joe, and you won't believe on how his life is changing. There are many types of physical challenges that people face in their lives. When we come back, I want to introduce you to some remarkable people that won't let anything get in their way. With hope, all things are possible. Partner with me with Principles of Hope and let's finish this race strong together. Thanks for supporting Principles of Hope. We encourage the hopeless and help everyone find physical and spiritual health. Peter's ministry is helping people feel God's hope and peace and light, and a gift from you will help. For a gift of any amount, you'll receive a Principles of Hope CD with three powerful messages from Peter, each one inspirational, scripturally based, and dealing with practical ideas for keeping and finding real hope so you can finish the race strong. If you are in the middle of a storm in your life, these hope-building resources can help. And your gift supports Peter's ongoing ministry of bringing hope to people in need of spiritual and physical renewal. Please call now and support Principles of Hope. 
and may God bless you. And my prayer for you is that you never lose hope in your own life. Thank you for partnering with Principles of Hope. Welcome back to a special edition of Peter's Principles. You know, there are times in life where there's life-changing experiences and we may feel defeated. We may even want to give up, but not Rick and Nancy. They're facing their physical challenges head on. If you saw Nancy and Rick Stone at a fitness center, you say, wow, that couple is in great shape. But look a little closer at this dynamic duo and you realize they truly represent the spirit of taking adversity and turning it into opportunity. Rick was born with cerebral palsy and has been in a wheelchair since he was a teenager. I've had a total of 14 operations from breaking bones to moving muscles and stretching muscles. The biggest one I had was a body cast from my feet to the upper part of my chest for an entire summer when I was probably about 13, 14 years old. Nancy was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1994. For a while, she lost vision in her right eye, needed a wheelchair for mobility. Psychologically, how did you feel once you were diagnosed that day? Scared, frightened. MS is a very unpredictable disease, so you never know from one day to the next what really to expect. And, you know, it's pretty frightening, especially in your early 20s. You feel like you have so much life ahead of you to live, and then you're diagnosed with something, you know, very serious and chronic. It's a daunting thing to face. Both Nancy and Rick faced their challenges head on and made exercise a part of their recovery, physically and mentally. It's a challenge for me. I regard my disability as a big, huge challenge, and I want to take it over. I want to beat it out, and I will. And Rick demonstrated that willpower for me, that passion to succeed. Giving me a little preview, huh? You got it. What would you tell people that are up against a wall right now that have the challenge of their life? I would tell people.